Before we jump right into it, I ask that you consider subscribing. It seems that 99.7% of my viewers aren't subscribed. Have you ever seen worse? If you like the content and want to see more car videos, subscribe and hit the little bell icon. I don't do boring vlog style videos that last over 10 minutes just for ad revenue. I get right into it and take pride in actually editing my videos. So consider subscribing, it's free. Yo, hey guys, it's me again, and this is how you make your chrome trim look like aluminum. So pretty much with this can from Dupacolor of Matte Clear, uh, it's essentially like plastic dip, so it's completely peelable and removable after. So it basically gives you a matte finish to whatever you're spraying. So I went ahead and used this can and tested this out on my mom's Pathfinder Nissan emblem in the front. So pretty much what you do is just give it a few coats. I use three coats of the matte clear and then three coats of Plasti Dip Glossifier to make it a little bit more shiny on the top. Because if I'm being honest, this matte is actually really matte. You won't really see that much of a reflection after you give it a few coats. So with the Glossifier, it makes it look a little bit more like aluminum with a dull reflection. So pretty much chrome trim uh, kind of looks outdated on some cars. I don't know why uh, manufacturers keep putting chrome on pretty much everything. So what some people do is they black out their chrome trim, uh, but for some cars it really doesn't look that good because of the color scheme that they have. So this more aluminum or metal looking instead of chrome looks a whole lot better in my opinion. And this is pretty much how it comes out after three coats of each, like I said. Aside from the drips that I had because of the nozzle, because uh, I used this can a few days prior and it was probably all gunky on the inside of the nozzle. So I swapped out the nozzles with another Dupacolor can and it started laying down pretty nice and smooth after that. So pretty much this is the final product of how it looks afterwards. I think it looks great aside from the drips, like I said, but you really won't be able to tell uh, the few imperfections from a few feet away. It's only when you get up close you start to see it. So this is a really cost effective way on how to make your chrome uh, look like something different and because it isn't blacked out uh, it does look pretty unique. I can think of a million different type of applications where you can use this like interior, exterior, pretty much whatever on your car. It doesn't even have to be on a car. It can be uh, just whatever that you have laying around, some chrome whatever. You can make it look like aluminum instead. Um, so let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Uh, I'll try and leave the links of the products I used in the description. And yeah, I guess that's about it for this video. Let me know what you guys think and I'll see you guys later. Peace.